Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Casper Network, aka CSPR. So with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night wherever you guys are out there in the world. So I figured we need to address a few things happening around Casper because I still see a lot of negativity and a lot of frustration you know, going around. Um, in recent videos, especially talking about XRP, I've been talking about how altcoins have barely moved. Like as we really look at altcoins, they barely moved. Casper is one of them. People are saying that Casper is feeling more and more like XRP. Remember that, that Casper never had a bull run opportunity. Most of the market topped around April and May of 2021, and Casper was just launching around that time. XRP barely moves while lagging, and then it wakes up and moves extremely fast. I see it as a good thing that people are saying Casper is moving like XRP because when it does wake up, it will move heavily. The number one thing to remember right now, if you are holding Casper, you are holding any altcoin, the number one thing to remember right now is that we are not in alt season. I don't know who needs to tell you guys this, but we're not in alt season. This market's not running on easy mode. Altcoins are not going parabolic. Most of the altcoins are moving off of the bottom and they might be doing a couple 100% moves. But remember, these altcoins are moving to the upside because it's not hard to move after you are down over 90 plus percent. Look at what has been moving in the last few months. Most of the altcoin market barely moved. I'm focused on the next few weeks and months ahead because I know altcoins will wake up once we see real, the real rotation happen from Bitcoin. Now, if we look at XRP, I have this area um, back here. It's from 2013 up to 2017. This is 1,186 days from the first time that it started to move. Now, like I said, I'm... I'm being very conservative with this because this is when XRP was trading at like half a cent or so. Um, we can even go to like where we are at currently on um, on Casper, which is like right around this level. But I'm starting at like five cents here. To the upside, XRP did a 6,700% move from five cents. Again, it took 1,100, almost 1,200 days for this to actually happen. Now here's Casper, right? We have the bottom level, which is when we started to really kind of, this is like when we launched essentially. I mean, if we go back to the launch, it's like 1,057. This is like 1,050. Either way, it doesn't really matter, right? Like we're still over 1,000 plus days that we've been just going sideways and there's no new high being made. And we're not going to the top of this candle up here at like 60 some dollars or anything like that. Like that's crazy to think about, but you know, the first level that I'm really kind of looking at is like 58 cents. Like this, this is the first area of interest for me, 58 cents. But if we look at this, right, like it's been ranging for so long. The spike back in November of 2021 was pretty much nothing, right? This is 24 cents. Again, this is the first initial target that we're really kind of looking at on the major upward move. By the way, Casper is not shy and it didn't really it's not one that did nothing at all in the last, you know, 12 months or so. If we go back to 2023, it still did roughly a 200% move. I know that this is nothing, right? Like this is not much in crypto, but most altcoins have barely moved as well. Go look at HBAR, go look at QNT, go look at any major utility altcoin. They've barely moved. There's like an exception of AI and gaming and meme coins, and I just recently talked about this in the XRP video. But when we really look at Casper, the number one thing that I'm really watching for is the fact that we've been ranging from the bottom here for 658 days. This will eventually break out. I'm watching this uh, pattern playing out right now on this chart, right? Which is the same pattern that we saw back in uh, 2022, right before the big move to roughly about like six and a half cents almost. And again, for most people that are going to say, oh, but well, that's not really a big move. It was still a pretty substantial move off the lows. For this being like outside of the bull run, outside of all season, it's still something that's pretty decent. But regardless, we have this low, low, and low. And these are higher lows as we continue. The number one thing that I'm watching for is us to continue making the same move here, which is a higher low followed by a higher low followed by this higher low. The thing that I'm watching is us to maintain above 
like three, four cents, right? So almost three and a half cents is the number one thing that I'm watching for, for us to actually maintain above. And then after that, we want to actually create an, a higher high, specifically above this level here from December into January. Um, but then going back to 2023, we want to actually go higher than this like almost six and a half cent zone. From there, it should take us to roughly almost 10 cents. That's like the first major target that we're really kind of watching for um, on the upward move. And then we target the November 2021 high. And then we go to possibly like 58 cents. And then with the exception that we go to $1.30, that would be the next big area. Now, again, if we're going off of uh, the lows here, we'll just go off of where we are at right now. I mean, listen, could we do a 67 X return on, um, Casper? Like for example, XRP did. Yeah. A 67 X is possible, but it's not something that I'm expecting. That would take us to about $2 and 50 cents. Now, like I said, anything can happen in this market. In fact, we can go much higher. We can go to $3 and 50 cents. It would not be something that surprises me, but I'm not expecting it this cycle. In fact, I'm just really looking at 58 cents to a dollar 30. Anywhere within there is great for me in my opinion. But do I think that it could go to $2, $3.50? 100%. This market surprises a lot of people. Nobody thought XRP was going to do this move back here and remember this is not the full move. Going off of the actual bottom back here, as this was like a 64,000% move. It made a lot of XRP holders extremely wealthy back in 2017. But outside of this, right, what is going to make Casper move in value? What's really happening on Casper? Because everyone's been pushing the narrative that Casper has no developers. Casper has no builders. Nobody's building out on the ecosystem. That's been changing. You know, the, the first initial thing that I saw was back in November where we saw uh, GameSwift actually announced that it got a grant from the Casper network. This was to build an open source project um, showcasing message signing with Casper Wallet, but also remember that this is a gaming platform. GameSwift has been killing it, by the way. If you actually um, hold their token, they've been killing it. But the reason why I bring this up is because this is one of those players that are within the Casper ecosystem. And just recently, we got this big announcement from Casper. And again, like these... You can look at these as big announcements or not. Everyone has their own opinion on gaming tokens or on gaming projects. But Play Beast League is a sports game, and this is actually coming to the Casper Network. We're thrilled to welcome Beast League to Casper Network. It is a sports game universe where gamers compete for fun, glory, and beast coin. The game has already more than 70,000 downloads and growing. Download on iOS or Android. Stay tuned for an upcoming competition. I think that this is great. Play to earn games like this, they're a big deal. Now, already 70,000 downloads, that's great. That's an incredible number right there in terms of the amount of downloads. I wonder how many active users they actually have um, outside of those 70,000, but I do hope that this continues to grow. Uh, they give us a little bit of an insight on how the game looks. This is all on mobile. I think this is pretty solid in terms of uh, the, the design of it, the UI. It looks pretty solid. Now, again, gaming projects are great. Why? Because they bring retail in. These are retail centric applications that build out growth, user base and activity on the network. But this was one of a few. We also got this one, which I did include in a recent video. Time to dive into the world of Suit and Garden, a revolutionary AI powered Web3 game integrated into Casper, Explorer, Conquer, Tame and the Wild Horses. And um, again, this is something that I think is pretty cool. Outside of that, we also have Tornado Master. Again, these are all projects that continue to come over to Casper. And by the way, this um, launches on Jump Trade NFT with passes Minta on Casper Network. Guys, Jump Trade is an NFT uh, marketplace that has over 120, almost 2,000 followers. It's a big deal. But again, gaming on Casper has been becoming a big focus point. Outside of that, yes, we still have AI, we still have finance use cases, stuff like that. But I'm very excited about this because this is going to bring a lot more users into Casper. 
But also I look forward to seeing a lot more activity on the network in terms of developer activity around gaming projects, possibly um, just in general, right? Like we, we still need a lot of uh, things built out on Casper uh, to really push the narrative around Casper becoming a dominant force in the space, very similar to what Hedera had um, happened to it, right? If you go back to 2021, Hedera was a, pretty much a ghost town. Then over the course of the next two, three years, Hedera became a dominant force in the space and they still are becoming a much larger giant every single day. And I, I focus on it every single day on this channel, pretty much. Hedera is a giant and I look forward to seeing Casper kind of grow into the same light because Casper is still very early on, which is why I said like, you know, again, we're not expecting like, you know, three to ten dollars this uh, bull run. But I do think that it could go substantially high um, in terms of value because you now if we're talking about a dollar thirty Casper, it's it's something that is possible. But is it possible this cycle? Is there enough substance behind Casper? We don't know. The market really tells us uh, what these altcoins are deserving of in terms of price once the hype is here, once retail is back, once they're buying it. Um, I do know that Casper has been getting listed on a lot of exchanges. I wouldn't be surprised if we started to get listed on T1 exchanges very soon as well in terms of like Binance, Coinbase, things like that, which would ultimately bring in a ton of new holders of Casper as well and buyers. But beyond that, right, developers, we know that there's a few um, things on Casper that are allowing developers to build very, very efficiently um, and fast. In fact, we are team make. They are ones that have been really kind of behind a lot of things um, within Casper, specifically Casper.build or even Casper.live, for an example. Um, but we have developers introducing the Casper.build console. Create and manage access keys to Casper.click and Casper.cloud for yourselves and your colleagues. This is great. Listen, developer tooling is something that goes unnoticed in this space because it's not exciting to talk about. But this is what will bring in a lot more developers. This is going to allow a lot more access to Casper through developers as well, which is something that I'm very excited about. But beyond that, right, there's a lot more events also happening. For example, Paris Block Week. This is one of the largest crypto events out there. Uh, we know that Casper is going to be a major sponsor at this. We have Casper Fam uh, prepared to innovate, learn, and compete with the best at the hackathon event during the Paris Block Week. Dive into an exclusive workshop led by Casper's uh, Mel uh, Patton. I hope that I'm saying that name correctly. Uh, featuring a Casper blockchain enabled lotter lottery application and tradable lottery tickets deployed to mainnet in under 30 minutes, which I think that's actually a pretty cool. Uh, use case but they are a proud sponsor of their hackathon uh, event during paris blockchain week very excited about this because again these events are very very big and i do think that this is from this actually is happening april 5th through the 7th so this week this is happening very exciting stuff now outside of that there's also um this event which is salt I Connections, New York 2024. Casper Labs is actually a silver sponsor. Again, more and more names um, are going to be looking into Casper throughout these events. It also provides a lot more um, individuals to have access to Casper, learn about Casper, and ultimately join in on the Casper network, which I think is very exciting. Then we also have Raise. So Raise Summit, which is happening next week, uh, April 8th, Casper's going to be there as well. All of this is a big deal considering the fact that these summits, these events, they all provide a lot more access to what Casper's doing, what they're becoming, what they're focused on, what they're building. We also get some great insights and updates from these events. So I'm very excited about this. And last but not least, the last major event, which I'm very excited about, is Crypto Assets Conference. This is April 16th in Frankfurt. Uh, this is Discover Recent Developments, Blockchain, Crypto Assets, DeFi, and Funds at CAC 2024A uh, in April. And we actually have a few uh, statistics behind this event. 400 plus on-site attendees, 4,000 plus online attendees, 60 plus speakers, 20 plus company booths, and uh, if we actually scroll down, here are some other um, event or uh, some other names behind this or numbers behind this. But we also have some of the names of the topics. So digital assets, the world of digital assets and its potential in present and future digital securities, digital bonds, digital funds, digital shares, DLT pilot regime, EIWPG, tokenization of assets, Mika regulation, real estate, music rights, luxury goods, vintage cars, Bitcoin, Web3 and carbon tokens as well. 
And uh, these are all of the names that are going to be there. City's going to be there. Some very large traditional giants like JP Morgan, for example, HSBC, UBS, you name it. Uh, Casper's going to be there. Um, there's a few other names here. IP Wii is also going to be there, which I find very interesting. Um, so who knows what's going to happen with IP Wii being there with Casper. Maybe we'll uh, get a little bit more of an insight regarding that um, and what they're uh, planning on doing. We don't know. Um, but regardless, I'm very, very excited about this. Also, if you go and look at the agenda and if we scroll down, we can see I think that it might be on this third one. It might be on the third one or the fourth one here. So there it is. So Casper Association. Uh, keynote bonds on blockchain machine readable and executable term sheets on chain so very exciting it seems as though tokenization endeavors on casper are going to start off very soon um, which is also a big deal and i think that there was one other one but i might be wrong doesn't seem like there is but regardless i'm very excited about this event i think that we're going to get a lot of insights uh behind casper behind a lot of these projects including even you know some other uh major players like ripple very exciting stuff. And like I said, Casper has been uh, definitely interacting with the overall community a lot more. They've been growing tremendously, which is very exciting. Engagement also has been growing, which is something that I've been uh, focused on for a while. Um, but regardless, I'm very excited about gaming on Casper because this is going to bring in a wave of retail users, in my opinion. It's one of the most sought after use cases for the uh, retail sector. But beyond that, definitely focus on price action uh, going into the later weeks and months of this year because I do think that altcoins are going to wake up in a heavy way. We haven't yet started alt season, but when it does start, you're going to want to be paying attention. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like and subscribe to notifications on because more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the Discord description below. And with that being said, guys, it's been Nick. Thanks for watching. Peace out.